Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky. So I have, I suppose, been making a return to divination, training a little bit lately, and uh, I'm almost done with this spot, and you guys will see that in just a little bit. But um, I have not been getting, I've not enjoyed divination all that much, to be honest. It's kind of a boring skill for the most part. I have just been AFK and watching YouTube in the background. Now that I do have the, the better PC, I do have the ability to do that. Um, I can watch videos again, which is awesome, so I have something to do while playing RS, which is always nice for skills like this, which aren't very fun to train. But anyway, I've pretty much been doing divination for quite a bit today. I was 79 divination when I logged on this morning, and I'm now 80. So I got one divination level today, but that means I can go to the, uh, the Brilliant Wisps location, and uh, I'm not completely sure exactly how to get there, so I'm just going to have to read up on that really quick. And, of course, before we forget, we have to make the boon. Um, these boons, of course, they boost your XP. Uh, pretty much everyone knows that. But um, what I forgot to do is, before I came to this location and started gaining the illustrious en energy, um, I actually forgot to make a boon. So for quite a while, I was um, training and not getting very good XP per hour doing it. So anyway, if we go to my bank here, I'll show you exactly how much uh, energy I have saved up. Um, let's see, it should be in the skills tab. So, actually, just going from uh, 70 to 80 divination, I got exactly uh, nearly 73,000 lustrous energy doing that. So, that's quite a bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that energy, but I'm just going to be saving it for a rainy day, uh, not selling it or anything because it's, for one, very hard to sell, and for two, um, it's not worth very much either. So pretty much every day I have to do my daily Dungeoneering challenge unless I get a Divination challenge, which does happen from time to time. I do seem to be getting the Dungeoneering once more often, which is a good thing because the uh, the Divination daily challenges don't give very much XP. But anyway, it's really tedious doing these challenges every day. I already did the um, the Slayer challenge, or the Slayer challenge, which was the uh, daily Super challenge. I got like 20k farming XP for that, so that's not bad. But uh, I yet again have to do my Delve into Damonheim challenge. And of course, during September, you get bonus XP for these, so that's pretty nice. Um, so what I do is I'm still on my rush floors, so that means all that I have to do is um, just go into a normal floor and do a C6 small, because that's better than actually rushing them. I just get to do this and complete my challenge every day, and I'd rather do this than try to find an actual team and do a, a full-size dungeon. But of course, I do still have the um, the dungeoneering tasks to do, which I haven't even completed the easy ones yet. I will eventually do that sometime in the future, but for now, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, of course, I do need, I think, 87, dungeon 87 divination to fully complete all the elite tasks. We can check that really fast. Um, if we scroll down to the one that I can't do, I believe this is uh, 87 div 86 divination. That was a little bit off, but yeah. Before I can complete all the daily or the dungeoneering task set here, um, I do need 86 di divination. And as soon as I get 86 divination, I will be completing this and getting the uh, the taskmaster emote back. But of course, um, this isn't going to be fun. I'm going to have to complete all the fermentic sagas, so I'm not really looking forward to that. But again, it is a completionist cape requirement, and I do need the completionist cape. So um, in a way, that's almost a good thing. But anyway, uh, that's about all for that, and I get rid of this thing. And time to complete my uh, my daily C6 small floor, so I'll be back as soon as I'm done with this, because, of course, the engineering isn't exactly what anyone would consider fun to watch. And it is time to hand in this daily challenge. It only took, like, five minutes to do that floor. But uh, we get 187k engineering XP, so that puts me over 12 mil XP on the counter. And of course, I need another 3 million XP before I can get 113 Dungeoneering, which is pretty cool because at that level you can get the Primal 2H Sword. But anyway, uh, I won't have to worry about that for another couple weeks at least, and then I'll be able to get my Primal 2H Sword. But anyway, until then, it's back to Divination, so I'll meet you guys at the new Divination spot and check out what it looks like. So apparently if you use the fairy code BIP, which also gets you to the Polypore Slayer Dungeon where, you know, the Ganoderic Beasts and stuff like that are located, it gets you pretty darn close to this divination spot, so that's what we're going to go. And I was hearing that this divination spot is kind of annoying to get to, and that's why it's uh, not good to get the Hunter Chronicles here, or you can't bank them at least. 
but actually this is really close to the fairy ring so it looks like I'm actually going to be able to keep collecting those um, hunter chronicles and turning them in for divination XP there's also a fair amount of people here which is rather annoying I like it a lot better when there isn't much people here um, and as always you get like one more divination XP per siphon or whatever you want to call them harvest one more divination XP per harvest um, every time you harvest the memories which is a little bit nice and I'm not sure how much XP you get when you turn them in, so I guess we can check and find out. But anyway, there are a lot of people here. Well, not a ton, but a fair amount of people here. Probably about the same amount that there were at the at their last divination spot. That's a bit disappointing. Um, and also, I'm not getting very much uh, divination XP per harvest, or per turning in. Because I was getting uh, 35 XP per turning them in at the last spot, and it's only 38 here, or 38 and 39 XP drops. So um, that really did not increase very much. So that's something I guess I could be a little bit worried about. Uh, the definition XP doesn't seem to be getting much better here. So I suppose that means it's going to be a really, really long road to 85 to unlock the Dragon Tooth Island spot. But anyway, we'll stick at it, and uh, I'll get 85 sooner or later. It probably will take quite a while, but I will eventually get to 85 divination and then move on to Dragon Tooth Island. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and uh, stay tuned for future videos. I'm sorry my voice is messing up. I'm kind of starting to lose my voice for some reason. I'm a little sick. But anyway, um, join my friends chat in-game at Uncle Zucky, and I'll see you guys later.